Mastering the morning requires you to master follow-up. Be consistent about following up because there's so much money lost because of a lack of follow-up. Greg Harrelson here. I want to talk to you about getting more production out of your day. You know, I think a lot of us, we show up every day, whether we go into the office or we work out of our home office, and we have in our mind that we're going to be productive, that we're going to get a lot of stuff done. And at the end of the day, we go home and feel like, gosh, there's just so much more we need to do, so much we didn't get done. So I'm just going to give you a few tips. I got three ideas on how we can get more production do more real estate business in our day. I think about it this way, is we got to stop trying to master the day and focus on mastering the morning. I'll repeat it. Stop trying to master the whole day. Just focus on mastering the morning. I kind of got my notes here and I, I wrote down the morning is like, think of it as a dominoes, a series of dominoes. The, mo the morning is the first domino of the day to fall. So depending on how that domino falls will dictate what other dominoes, no, dominoes fall after. So if we can master that first domino, master the morning, then we set the tone, we, get, we, 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 we set, our, set the path you know, for, for productivity for the rest of the day or for lack of productivity. That first domino is critical. That first domino is critical. The first thing that I have that we need to do is we need to be intentional. So start the morning with intention. Take five minutes before you kick off your day. Take five minutes and set the targets for the day. What are your targets? I want to talk to X amount of people. I want to send X amount of emails out. I want to do X amount of follow-up. Wh whatever your targets are, think about in the morning, think about building your business. What are some things, specific things that you can write down on your list to accomplish today that when accomplishing it, you know that would be productive. So set your targets, be intentional. The second thing I have is you gotta block out a few hours in the morning because the, the morning is the, the time that you're most likely to keep sacred. You're most likely gonna have the least amount of, of interruptions and distractions will be in the morning. You check social media less in the morning appraisers and home inspectors call you less in the morning. Lenders call you less in the morning. So because we know as an industry, there's not as many distractions in the morning, then why don't we make sure that we master that morning and we master some sort of generating activities, whatever it be. If it's email, if it's postcards, if it's calling expires or FISBAs, whatever you're doing, block out a few hours every morning to build your business, to build your database. That's critical. The third thing is, is then no matter what, from eight until 11, focus on these things. Focus on new leads, new lead generation, whether you're buying leads through pay-per-click or realtor.com, Zillow, buyer leads, or you're getting seller leads from Fizbo's or expires, whatever you're doing, those are the calls that you should be making in the morning. Lead generation. Also, mastering the morning requires you to master follow-up. Be consistent about following up because there's so much money lost because of a lack of follow-up. So focus on follow-up and make it your intention to set one appointment. If that means setting an appointment with a seller for two weeks out, set an appointment. If it means a buyer two weeks out, set an appointment. If it means today, tomorrow, or any time uh, other than those that I stated, just set appointments. And the way that you do that is listen, respond, and ask for the appointment in whoever you're talking, talking with. See, if you'll set your intentions in the morning, set your targets, write those targets down, and then you'll block out time to be productive. This is your production time. And, 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 and don't, um, you know, don't, don't fail to show up for production time. If you'll do that, now all of a sudden you're talking to people. And if you're talking to people, you can set appointments. The main reason why we don't set more appointments is because we don't talk to a lot of people. That's all we have to do to get more production out of our day. I know I'm simplifying this and I'd love to help you much, much beyond, you know, these few minute videos that I do from time to time. So, you know, if you're in the state of South Carolina or North Carolina and you're in real estate, which I, I, I know you are, and you're looking to grow your business, please just reach out to me. I'd love to, to talk with you about your goals, 
see if I can help you. And who knows, maybe we'll be a good fit and maybe we can even work together one day. Again, I'm Greg Harrelson. I've got offices in Myrtle Beach, North Myrtle Beach, Charleston, Wilmington, North Carolina, Greenville, Spartanburg, Columbia, you name it, we've got the Carolinas covered. Talk to you soon. Bye.